iOS 16 has been out for a few weeks now, and with it came a lot of new features and changes. One of which I'm really excited about, which is the addition of widgets to the lock screen. These new widgets on the lock screen are not only just a cool feature, but they've also really helped my productivity. They've increased the ability for me to do my quick capture, get thoughts out of my head into my quick capture tools, and then I can move about and go on with my day and go on with whatever I'm working on. So in this video, I wanna show you how I'm using the widgets on the lock screen, the different applications that I'm using for quick capture, and how I set them up. So let's get started. All right, so one way I like to use the iOS 16 widgets is for quick capture. I have one that goes straight to my daily note in craft. So if I click on this, it's gonna open up straight to my daily note. I can type in here is a note and I can click done and I'm out of the app and I can move on to whatever I was working on. How I'm doing this is through an application called Shortflow. And what this does is allows you to either add a URL or you can run a shortcut from the widget of your lock screen. And what I did was I configured Craft's URL scheme to open up the today note and I copied that here. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find this. And then I just simply pasted in that URL scheme and added my space ID at the end. To get your space ID, all you have to do is you can go into a craft document. For example, if we wanted to go into this document, if I click on the share button in the top right and I click export, I can go ahead and I can click copy deep link. And then what I would do is I would paste that deep link and you'll see that your space ID is at the end of the URL scheme there. And so you just copy that space ID, then you're gonna paste it into the craft URL scheme for opening up today. And then you can configure that widget. So you wanna make sure you have open URL selected. Here you can click on the icon and you can customize it to any of these SF symbols. I just chose calendar. And we'll go ahead and choose that one. And then we have our space ID, I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And then so now if I go to my lock screen and if I click on my widget, it opens up straight to my daily note. I can add my quick thoughts, do my quick capture, and then I can lock my phone and I can be out moving on with my day. To configure a widget on your lock screen, go ahead and press and hold on your lock screen until you get this edit view, you're going to go down and click customize, and then you're going to see you have two areas where you can add widgets above the time and below the time. If you click on underneath here, you have any application that supports widgets would be here. I'm going to go down to short flow, and then I'll click on that to add my widget. I'll delete this one so we don't have duplicates. Click exit out, click done, set as wallpaper pair, and here we go. So now if I click on my icon, it takes me straight to my daily note. So that's how I'm using widgets on my lock screen of my iPhone to help with quick capture, help with my productivity, help get ideas out of my head into applications, and then I can free up that space to do my productivity work. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.